Boom, Peace Intro. What's up, guys? Well, my granddaughter's here with a couple friends staying the night, so you might hear some giggling. Anyway, uh, I've got a few things to show you. I got a mail call from the Meat Butcher. It's a uh, it's one of them little little boxes. You know what they say about little packages? Dynamite comes in a little package. So I don't even know what it is. I don't know what he was sending. He was sending something. Um, I he didn't say anything to me about it. So we'll see what's in there. And I got a couple other things I'll show you. Change some things around. Um, put my funny cars over there. My Hewitt Hot Wheels. Moved my piss on Fordsman over there and put my Schwinn bicycle up there. I wanted to make it where I could see my dioramas again. <clears throat> anyway, right now we're going to do the sticker drawing real quick. Well, I just flashed everybody's names, but it don't matter. You guys all know each other. And if you saw, Mr. Proust is all over that thing, like always. Um, but anyway, um, it's for the custom Halloween truck. Well, boom, got her all ready to go. Hopefully it stays together. I, You know how them customs are, guys. I, ooh, I, that annoys me shipping customs because I just never know when they're going to come apart. Second place. And then we got third place. So, let's go ahead and there's 50 stickers on there. So let's. Bust a move. Everybody said the wheel's cool, so let's just see what it says. Seven. Seven is Mr. Keebler. Mr. Larry Keebler. That is a Jersey. Jersey Devil. That's Jersey Devil. Wow, brother. I can't believe. Well, I mean. <laughs> like like we said before, guys, it happens. Mr. Proust is literally all over this board. I can't believe he missed. But, you know, it happens. So, Mr. Where's my paper? Dang it. Mr. Keebler won that baby. First place is number seven, Mr. Keebler. Congrats. And now let's see who's going to get second place. Don't forget, I don't know if Mr. Keebler, how many stickers he bought, but Looks like he's on there a few times at least. He could he could win second place. But let's see. Forty two. Dang, Mr. Siler. Second. Mr. Siler. Mr. Siler with number 42. Golly, Mr. Proust, it's, it is missing you by one number each time. Holy moly. <laughs> Mr. Siler. Hey, that's a pretty cool little set. I mean, I'm, I, I, I collect them all because it started from the beginning, but I really wasn't a Skyline guy, but the more I get of them, the more I like them. And that's a pretty cool looking little Skyline. So, And we got third place. Now, I think Mr. Proust has this, so it would be, well, if I was Mr. Proust, it would be my luck that now I'd win. Let's see who's going to get third place. Fifteen, 
Mr. Bruce. <laughs> that is crazy. Wow. That's my kind of look, Mr. Bruce. Dang, guys. Congrats to everybody. Um, sorry, Mr. Bruce. You know, that is really... I need to write this down. 42 was second place. 42 was second place. Golly, Mr. Bruce. Um, like we said before, guys, um, I know you guys see Mr. Bruce win all the time and a lot, but he buys a lot of stickers. And, uh, but... As we just seen, that doesn't necessarily guarantee you first place. So, but let me see. I don't know. I don't know what else you, I would have if you've already got that. Pretty sure you've already got that. Um, I don't know. don't have any other Mr. Bruce. I have the Snake and Mongoose um, two-pack and I have the Chevelle two-pack. I don't know. I would think you probably have those. Yeah, I have one of these, Snake and Mongoose. And I have one of these Chevelle Torino two packs. Other than that, I don't... Nope, I already got rid of it. Sorry, buddy. If you want, if you'd rather have one of these, let me know. You know, or you know, if you want another one of these, or maybe you don't have it. I was thinking you did, though. Um, but maybe you want another one. I don't know. Um, sorry, buddy. That's all I got right now. Um. Yeah, that's, I don't have anything else, buddy. So anyway, and again, like I said, I don't know how, that just merely missed you both times. Mr. Proust all over the board on this baby. Anyway, congratulations, guys, and sorry to everybody else. Um, hopefully, Mr. Seiler needed that, and... Um, Mr. Keebler obviously wanted the Halloween truck or he wouldn't even have tried. So, there you go, buddy. Mr. Keebler got him the Halloween truck. And Mr. Seiler got the two-pack. Um, let me know, Miss Spruce, what you want to do there. I Sorry, buddy. All right. Um, I got this baby in. It's up on drawing six. She is nice. Um, I actually, there's, I, I tell you what I did. There's three. There's two of these and one skyline. But look at that baby. She is beauty too. Look at that. Beautiful engine. 
Yeah, I know guys, lights better upstairs. Tailgate comes down. Anyway, it's sticker drawing six, first place. Skyline is second place, the color changing one. And then another one of these is third place. So that it's guaranteed that two separate people are going to win one of these. First place, obviously, can win the Skyline as well, because I always let you have a chance at second place. <clears throat> but third place usually has to go to somebody else. So anyway, there's two of these. Um, I just threw them. I, for some reason, I thought I only ordered two, like I did the Skyline, but I ordered three of these. So I just went ahead and threw the other one up as third place. What the heck? And um, normally... Since I did that with three of these nice premiums, I would have put 40 stickers, but I only put 35, so um, that'll cover them plus what shipping is, and uh, so odds won't be that hard, but anyway, she is a lot nicer. I'll probably get a bunch of these too, or you know, I'll collect these, but there's, one, there's a gray one out. I'll probably try to get it. Um, but I don't care for that white one with the orange and black. I don't know. It doesn't look too hot to me. But this is a good looking one right here. And like I said, it's up on there right now. Uh, Mr. Spehar already found it because I seen he bought some tickets, stickers. Thanks, buddy. And um, Mr. Richardson found it because he bought some stickers already too. So I don't know how many is left. Um, but, uh, but it's up there ready to go. And, uh, this one's mine, obviously. And then, uh, I got that package. I got a package from Mr. Fleischer, the meat butcher. And we're going to see. I pulled this tab out earlier. All right, looks like some Hot Wheels. Yep, some hot wheels. Whoops. Okay. I see Mr. Meat Butcher. He had told me about it when I said, Hey, I got a package in from you. I'll show it here in a minute. He said, You can show the picture in there too. I was like, uh, okay, I, <laughs> yep, it's, it's meat butcher, all right, I was like, picture, huh, maybe it's a picture of the infamous meat butcher, I'm looking for a man, he calls himself butcher, says, Oh, well, look at that strapping young man right there. Boy, that dude don't look a day over 35. Meet Butcher on the rooftop by the swimming pool of a boutique hotel. Looking out at the ocean to make sure no cats on surfboards on the way to Independence, Missouri. To brother, to my brother, Buddy James. <laughs> right on, brother. Sink that, sink that board if they are. Look at old meat butcher. Look at that strapping young man. Sent, I, I have a picture of his dad he sent. I think I stuck it in my file. Um, didn't want it to get messed up. And his, shoot, his dad's like, looks just as young and fit. It's like, you know, look at him. Look at him over there in paradise. That's where he lives in paradise. He's always talking about it, how nice it is over there in the Puerto Rico. Uh, but there's old meat butcher. I wonder what old meat butcher looked like. I just assume he looked a lot like his, like his pa, a lot like his dad. 
you know what? I got a picture of Mr. Proust, too. Check it out. Where's it at? <laughs> Look at that dude. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Whoa, we don't want to mess with that cat. No, nah, just kidding. Boy, that Moana, my granddaughter will watch that thing so many times. I can't tell you how many times that I've seen Moana. I'm, I'm unbelievable. Unbelievable. Good show, though. Entertaining. Anyway, he sent me a Tri-5. I actually don't know that I have that blue one. I know somebody sent me the yellow one, but I don't know that I have the blue one. I'll have to look up there. So that's sweet. And a couple more cyclones right on. Look at there. I should have plenty of cyclones now. And another one of them Fords. These things look awesome with just a wheel swap. I've seen uh, Steve over at uh, Mini Stang's done one, and all he did was swap the wheels out. Looked great. I mean, you could, you know, you could add, I mean, he didn't, as far as I recall, he didn't paint it or anything. He might have done a little bit of detail work, but just swapping the wheels changed the look of this truck big time. It's sweet. Thanks, buddy. Had no idea you were sending those. I'll definitely save them for the custom work. Right on. And, yeah, I've been changing stuff around over here, trying to go through it. I went through a bunch of cars all day today. I got a box over here, probably almost 10 pounds, shipping out to a guy in Texas Monday. Um, and I haven't even begun to go through cars. I started trying to dig out my table. And I changed this around. Like, you know, I wanted... I put the bicycle up here and I moved, you know, that over there. Put my Hewitts up here. and I moved some of my transports out of the way. I'm going to have to get another place to put them. And I uh, got the funny cars up across here. And in the middle, that's a custom. I got a bunch of customs over there, guys. From I didn't realize how many you guys sent, but this is that one from Gary Swint's. Real sweet looking. But I figure what I'll do is I'll interchange them. I'll keep it over here for a while and then I'll move it. And I'll put somebody else's over there. But I didn't realize until I dug that mess up how many of you guys have actually sent me customs. I bet there's 35, 40 of them over there. And uh, now I have some of them in separate cases, but I don't, I don't have... I'll have to move them around um, gently. I mean, like, I got this one. This is from Fern C, if I recall. Look at that beautiful baby. Look at that. Wheel choice is outstanding. Look at that. Nice job. I'm almost positive that was Fern C. Yes, I'm positive. It gets confusing when you get so many of them. But anyway, I'll I'll slowly move them around and, and do that. But a, a bunch of the other ones I have are, I get long display cases and I place them all in there individually. But some people send them in a case, like uh, Fern sent it in a case, so I didn't have to do anything. And uh, some of them... are stuck in a case and check this out guys I can't I got it over there so I can't really show you because they're covered in cars but I got these Johnny Lightnings um, actually Alex Long sent me these a year or two ago I had no idea it would do this maybe you guys can tell me what's up I'm thinking there must be some petroleum in this rubber or something, but I set these on top of my plastic display cases and it almost melted clean through the plastic. Everywhere the wheel was set. I had to pry them off of there and they dipped into it. I mean, they literally melted <clears throat> through the plastic almost all the way through. 
It's crazy. And only the Johnny Lightning's done it. I have other cars sitting there with real riders that didn't do it. Only every Johnny Lightning over there sitting on plastic did that. What in the world is that about? It's runt. The top of it's runt. I mean, it literally melted down into it. Tire tread and all. If I'd have left it there much longer, it would have went clean through. Apparently, because it looks like the longer it sits, the more it just sinks right through the through the plastic. What is that about? All I could think about is it must have some kind of petroleum in here or something that does not go along with the plastic or something. But it is crazy. Yeah, I have a uh, I have a big display case I built myself, and I used the plastic to cover my Bigfoot truck. And I once I seen that, I was like, man, I'm glad I didn't set them on top of that because I set a bunch of my gassers on top of it with real riders on it. It didn't hurt it, and the and the real riders that I that I put on cars and I set on top of them plastic cases, they didn't hurt it. Only the Johnny Lightning tires. I don't, every one of them, everything that was a Johnny Lightning, them tires ate right into that plastic. And now the plastic where the tire was sitting is all gummy. Like you can just like dig it out like it's wet or something. It's not hard no more in those spots. It's really crazy. I don't know. Maybe you guys know what it is. But anyway, yeah, I've been trying to dig all that stuff out and, you know, get it all changed up. So I can make some room, get rid of a bunch of stuff. But God, it takes forever. Once so I had to get my bench dug out because I got to get back in here, get on these customs. But um, that's what I did today, and it went by quick. I I hardly got anywhere. I mean, I didn't even. I haven't even went through the. <sighs> I haven't even got up stuff off the walls. It's crazy, guys. I've. I don't know, man. I just, it's, it's easy to get out of hand. It just gets out of hand quickly. Anyway, the uh, sticker drawing is handled. Winners, what is that? New phone connected, okay. Um, and we have a lot of people that, uh, <clears throat> seem to love the comment reading guys um which i don't blame you so i guess i'm to the point where i can go ahead and read some comments and maybe we won't be in here this long uh and i can't think of anything else i'm missing um nothing else i forgot to say or anything i don't think um, I don't think so. I guess we'll go with it. I guess we'll go on with the comments. Um, right off the bat, we got Aussie Allen. Aussie Allen, the man from down under. You know, lots of not a knife. This is three great mail calls, brother. Right on. Your video, James, are funny as. Stay cool. <laughs> Crack me up, the accent. No offense taken here, because I'm still laughing. Right on, brother. Yeah, I'm not no good at that accent stuff. Oh, Pontiac Crest. More awesome mail calls from the super fans. I was lucky enough to collect all the Muscle Machine Pontiacs when they first came out. That's cool. I think it was the late 90s, early 2000s. Time flies. Time flies when we're having fun collecting. Yeah. Love hearing all the replies from Hewitt's community. Have a great weekend, James. You too, brother. Yeah, that's, that's what's cool about it. Is everybody gets to hear, you know, if you want. Um, Froggy Giza. Been a minute since we had a mail call in the kitchen. Yeah, it's been a while. Three more killer mail calls. Three cheers to the senders. Right on. Dig the ornaments. Been looking for them since last year's were released. Yeah. I didn't find any last year. I didn't find any this year. Those were sent to me. Um, 
Haven't got lucky enough to find any though. LOL. Had to open the. I'd have to open the Bond Dutch bikes. Some castings bring out the curious kid side, and I have to see it up close out of the package. I know that's right. I'm probably going to do the same thing I'm going to, when I get a case to put them in. And Mr. Harrison, your videos are better than anyone else out there. Well, thanks, brother. You're very relatable, hilarious, and you are not fake. Cool. That's why everyone is commenting, in my opinion, for whatever that's worth. Nice mail call you have. Yourself a great day. Right on, brother. You too. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, just... I don't know. Seems like if you, uh, just, uh, be real, be yourself, there ain't nothing to really be remembering or Mr. Brian Johnston, another round of great mail calls. Thanks for sharing, James. You bet, buddy. And yeah, if I'm a little slow, oh man, I'm tired. I'm t I can't believe, I've been down here all day messing with this, and I haven't got very far at all. I can't believe it. Mr. Proust. Oh, again, sorry, buddy. That's That's got to be, a, that was, that was, a, <laughs> he was all over that, guys. He was, man, he was all over that board. But anyway, Diecast Clown and Jake sent you, and Jake sent you some nice cars. Three boxes in one day, well deserved. Thanks, buddy. We all know how much you appreciate what we send you, most definitely. Nice kitchen. What's for dinner? <laughs> right on. I enjoy when you read the comments. Like the humor and facial expressions. Paul. Right on. What, Maui? Oh, don't take that. Don't take no offense to that picture. Fern C. Uh-oh. Didn't work out this time. Boom. No uno. Awesome mail calls. Jake Clown and Mr. Proust sent you some fire. Most definitely. The VW van from Clown could use different colored wheels. Yeah. Still cool, though. It's still a nice van. I was looking at it again this morning when I was over there. I don't know how Mr. Proust finds these boulevards so quickly. I know. But what a guy to send them to you. Most definitely. Looking forward to the sticker raffles on those Cato House cars. And yes, watch the whole video. Very cool to hear what everyone typed in the comments and your response to them. Right on, brother. Yeah, it's up. Got them stick. Those are up now. I don't know how long they're going to last. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it was... I'm glad everybody likes it. And we'll stop whenever you want. But like I said, it makes it easier to... I try to answer you guys anyway, but this way I can answer you and other people can hear it as well, you know? And uh, now that's another thing. So you guys say something. I don't censor... I don't, oh, I don't want people to hear. I don't decide that. You decide it when you wrote it, okay? So if somebody says something and they're like, oh, I didn't want them to read that way, well, you probably shouldn't have wrote it because I, I'm not YouTube or Google or any of those people that want to censor everything somebody says. I'm going to read what you say. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, so if anybody's thing gets censored, it's not me. It's YouTube or somebody. Ha, ha, ha. This is Strictly Diecast. Ha, 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 ha. I'm surprised you didn't read the other side of my box. I don't know. Did I miss a side? But sorry, the case ended up getting a scuff in it, buddy. It definitely wasn't like that when I put it in there. At least I don't remember. Oh, it's all good, man. Like I said, I'm probably going to open it anyway. I, I I doubt. I mean, it's fine. Um. Awesome mail call from Diecast Clown. That BW is fire and sucks about the M2 set. Oh, the crack in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mr. Proust strikes again with the boulevards. I know. I don't know how he does that. Um, still loving the comments being read, brother. And have a good rest of your week. Same to you, brother. Mr. Jefferson Jeffries change of venue always keeping it fresh here to the end brother must be talking about the, the the kitchen right on buddy right on yeah i didn't feel like walking down here oh bunker diecast channel mr eddie g eddie g sweet mail call care packages thanks for sharing and showing the goods 
Have a great rest of your week, brother. Right on. Same to you, buddy. Mr. Garcia. Remember? Awesome mail call, James. Thanks, brother. Oh, Mike Dyson. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Your channel is definitely very entertaining. I may never beat that guy with the peace uno, <laughs> Mr. Burns. <-y. laughs> but I'll be here when I can and watch 100%. Awesome Tripper Mail Yard. Oh, thanks for sharing. You bet, buddy. Thanks for watching. Mr. Devers. James, another awesome mail call. Muscle machines are sweet. I have a few of them. Also, the golf car is awesome. Right on, buddy. Appreciate that. Yeah. Um. I didn't. I don't think I realized that you like muscle machines. Mr. Deemable, Mr. Luz. Jake Clown and Mr. Proust hooked a brother up. Another great show. Just catching Z's, laughing and putting his thumb up. I guess he must have went to sleep on that long one. Doug's Diecast. Nice mail calls, especially the boulevards. Thanks for sharing. You bet, buddy. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Proust had definitely hooked it up. Always. I mean... It's unbelievable how much stuff he sends. Reese Long. Reese Long. Wow, those are awesome cars, the square bodies especially. Yes, sir, we do like your comment section. You are hilarious, and I do not think you're fake at all. Right on. I love the reality and realness. Keep it coming. Well deserved on the car. Hope you can make some new customs with those. And the kitchen lighting is much better. Yeah, lighting is better up there. That's true. Thirty Tony's Diecast Customs. Hadn't seen you in a little bit, buddy. 30 second thumbs up, brother James. And fire mail calls. And from awesome bros from the community. And enjoyed watching and have a wonderful week, brother and family. Cool glasses. Thumbs up. Prayers. Hearts. 100%. Right on, buddy. Wasi's DC Garage. Wasi's. Wasili's. No, those are all eyes. I don't know what that. Great show as always, Huey. With a touch of Master Chef to boot. I reckon your Beretta for first prize. The Bowie Knife. I've got a mini Gerber for second. And the Blue Green Skyline for third. Ha ha ha. Go number one Skyline. All right, buddy. I actually put it in second place, but. No Beretta. And, uh, um, yeah, that, I was talking about that Beretta uh, 96 Brigadier. It's, a lot of times they're 92s, but see, the 96 is a 40 cal. So that's, it was a 40 cal. I don't think I mentioned that I traded them for a 40 cal Beretta. But the M9A3 is a 9 millimeter. Anyway, just, I was thinking about it later. Here's old Jersey Devil. The winner of the custom. Got my Cato House Chevy in the mail today. Looks great. Yeah, it does, man. It really does look a lot better. I asked multiple companies if they take the chases out, and they all said yes. There must be a way to tell if it's a chase without opening it. Dang, must be. Um, I don't know, guys. Well, you guys tell me, but that's wild that they, they actually take them out. Now, McNasty's got a chase a couple times. I... I didn't ask him if uh, if he lucked out and got a chase or if he actually bought the chase. Let us know, Mikanasta. Did you pay for that chase or did you just luck out and get him? Um, now, I did see where if I'm willing to buy a case of them, I can be guaranteed a chase. So maybe, maybe uh, but I ain't buying a whole case of them just to get something I don't really care to have anyway. I don't care about that chase. But yeah, that sucks. Um, Neil Cummings. Never apologize. Great vid. Reading comments are great entertainment. Have a great night, buddy. Same to you, brother. Jersey Devil again. Them Christmas ornaments are fire. My old lady said to tell you cool kitchen. <laughs> right on. Thanks. Tell Miss, Mrs. Pagano. Thank you as well. 
Hector, Hector, good old Hector. Great mail call, amigo. Blessings, Mr. Jimmy. The king of swoopers, I see. Right on, brother. Right on. I hear you. I hear you. I'd give you a thumbs up and a heart. Oh, red eye, 24 7 Hot Wheels. I wonder why them eyes are red. 24 7. Does that mean like all day long? Is that what you're trying to say? Now, that skyline was beautiful. Dig that color. Fire. Yeah, it is, man. I like how it changed colors, too. I didn't, it may have said it in the description, but I didn't notice it when I ordered them. I got some more cool cars coming, too. Some Cato House NSX. Ooh, they're nice, too. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get here, but. We got Diecast Clown. Man, I really wish ScrewTube didn't delete my last comment. I sent you a message, a screenshot of my feelings about Jean-Claude mistake. Awesome mail call. Couldn't agree with you more on the ugly ass wheels <laughs> on the Golf VW. Be nice to see you wheel swap them. I always watch until the end. Right on, brother. Um, yeah, I wasn't. YouTube had to delete it. I didn't. But uh, yeah, if it's here, I'm going to read it. I mean... Old school, cool die cast. My first gun was a P89. And then a P95. Not sure what the P95 is. I had P94. Those were 40 cows. I'm not sure. That's awesome. You had them too. It's cool you don't like them though. We all have our favorites. Well, no, it ain't that. I liked my P89. I never had any trouble out of it. And I never even thought anything about it until I fired a Beretta. Once I, shoot, took a Beretta to the range, you will not believe how sweet that is. I used to shoot that thing back when I, I've had that thing 20-something years. And I used to drink. I quit drinking in 03. I'd be out my brother's in the farm. Heck, my son was there. I, I would have drank a 12-pack, and they'd set bottles up on the fence. Shoot easy 50 60 feet away in the dark at nighttime and i could drop them right off there with that p89 or not p89 that beretta well it was the 40 cal it wasn't a nine millimeter but um i don't think that would matter um and the, the p89 just never was that accurate compared to that beretta but um the the p94s is what made me not not want to deal with it anymore once i traded to the 40 cows they just they weren't they weren't quality guns for 300 bucks a pop duh and you know that that p89 i got that for 225 dollars in 1995 at a uh uh gun show in phoenix arizona back when you could still go to gun shows and get a good deal on a firearm I mean, you could. Now, you go to a gun show, their odds are they're going to charge you more for that pistol or rifle at the gun show than you could go to the store and get it. You know, the same people will be there, but if you went to their store, you'd get it cheaper. I, I quit going to gun shows, shoot, 10, 15 years ago because of that. It's like, what happened to getting a good deal at a gun show? No more. But I actually bought that thing, like I said, for $225, brand new. Um, in 95 in Phoenix, Arizona. And, uh, but anyway. So no, it ain't that I don't like it. It's just that I found a much, much more dependable, suitable, higher quality gun. Plus it has tritium sights, so they go on the dark. It just, uh, Beretta is a nice firearm. It's just big. Mr. Neil Cummings again. Dang, Jake hooked you the heck up. Sweet square bodies. Yes, he did. Right on, brother. Then we got the bearded welder. Oh, Asko Sapanan. I better not say it. I don't know if that's how you say it. Sweet cars in unboxing. Love the Golf Volkswagen. Not a big fan of those cartoonish cars. <laughs> Must be talking about the muscle machines. Yeah, I might have different sayings about things or people, LOL. It's just what we use here in northern part of the planet Earth. Always take the time for your videos. Take care, bro. Yeah, man, it's all good. I mean, yeah, yeah, I know how that goes. Um, 
Y'all to talk to some people down. I think I think old Mike Dyson's down there in Louisiana. Down there in Louisiana. I used to work out. I used to build apartments in Louisiana. Used to go down to Cachetta a lot of times. Knew somebody down there. I'd ride my bike, motorcycle out there. And uh, you ought to talk to some of them guys. Yeah. Man, well, I worked, we worked building apartments for some. They called them coon ass. They were some old Louisianians, whatever, you know. Um, but uh, they, they'd make up some pork chops and this sauce. I mean, it looked like some, looked like diarrhea all over. But, oh, my God, that Cajun food was so delicious, man. It was, but, yeah, you ought to talk to some of them people down there. Be like, okay. So, yeah, it's all, it's just where you are, man. It's just where you are, you know. Old Curbster, Curbs Garage. Damn, that fridge has a lot of honeydew notes on it. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot. It ain't, ain't really that. It's got receipts from this, receipts from that, pictures, and just, yeah, a bunch of stuff on there. Rat Black. Oh, Rat Black's dock house. Rat Black. The kitchen lighting is better. Yeah, it sure is. I noticed that. Sure do enjoy the comment section. I think Cooter's diecast. And Mike Dyson are cousins. Huh. I don't know if he's joking or being serious. He's probably being serious. Rat, Rat's a little comedic, but he's usually serious. Happy to see David Beeson commenting on your channel. Yeah, David Beeson's cool. He's been here for a while. He's, uh... Seems like he won something a long time ago. Um... Can't remember. Or maybe I just sent him something. I gave away some. I don't remember. But yeah, he comes around. Comes around, rat. Sure enough. Simple man, Mustang, diecast. Nice mail calls. Enjoy you reading the comments from time to time. Uh oh, from time to time. That's an indicator. That's that's an indicating sign. It means from time to time. You know, like when you go to see a relative and they say, "Hey, come back." When you can't stay as long. You know, that's, that might be number one already saying, hey, let's keep this to a minimum. No, I don't know. Um, you never know when something that is said in the comments is going to spark a Mr. Hewitt story. Yeah, that's true. Keep on keeping it real, good buddy. You bet, brother. Yeah, I do go off on off the rail there, don't I? Something said, just boom, off I go. Clown and Pruce, Mr. Neil Cummings again. Clown and Pruce lit you up. That 69 Chevelle and bike are sweet. I loved biker build off Jesse James, etc. TV shows. Yeah, they were pretty cool. I used to watch them too. And I got, got look at there, David Beeson. We were just talking about that dude. Hope to get a couple chances at that skyline. This one is short. I hope it makes up for the last comment. Later, brother. Oh no, that's good. I was just, I was just, I was just ribbing you, man. Just giving you a little, little nudge, you know. Just kind of picking at you, Mister Kevin Kennedy. Boom, number forty-six. I immediately noticed the change in the background on the thumbnail and said, "Oh man, what's up with this?" Anyway, great video as always. Stick around to the end. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Oh, man, I'm cooking up here again. Mr. Neil Cummings again. Yeah, he's obviously one of those guys that comments as he's watching, which is cool. I don't care. It's all good with me. I own and love all the Clint Eastwood Westerns. Oh, that's a fact, brother. That's, uh, you know, people say John Wayne. Nah, Clint Eastwood, man. Clint Eastwood. Outlaw Josie Wells was my favorite movie forever. Matter of fact, if it's on, I'm watching it. I've probably seen it a thousand times, but I watch it anyway. I mean, crack the whole time he just keeps spitting on that dog. Just everything about it is just. I mean, I know that's disgusting, but he's just, the whole show is just killer. Um, but I like Hang 'Em High, High Plains, all all Clint Eastwood. I mean, that dude's the legend. I used to watch Rawhide, like clockwork, man. Rowdy Yates and uh, just 
Yeah, it ain't John Wayne. It's Clint Eastwood. But yeah, I love those movies. Um, but Outlaw Josie Wales has got to be one of my favorites, I think. Just everything about it. Um, dog Life. I have to say, James, you got good videos. I've been watching for about three or four months now. And I'm going to keep on watching. Make some nice cars, man. I love your videos. Thanks, brother. Um, I have seen you here before. Sure have. Uh, here and there. For some reason, I'm thinking of something else, though. Anyway, appreciate it, buddy. Right on. Um, here's Simple Customs by Eddie Papandria. Oh, Eddie P. Hey, James, we need some cooking videos. Now, I'm going to leave that to you, Eddie. I don't cook up there much more. I mean, I made some chili, stuff like that, but I don't, I don't, I don't get in that kitchen too much. Neil Cummings. We ain't heard from him in a while. Let's see what he got to say. Beautiful kitchen. Cato House JDM cars are amazing. And I'm not a JDM nut. That square body is holy cow fire. Sure is, brother. Thanks. Yeah, kitchen's cool. Um, it's a. Uh, I got two big refrigerators up there. It's a pretty huge kitchen, and it's still not big enough. I got too many people. We need a massive one for all everybody. We're still old school around here, so my daughters cook. My my granddaughters cook. My wife. Everybody cooks. So, heck, my son, everybody cooks. So, it, I need, I would need a bigger kitchen more than I would any other room, really. As a matter of fact, I got to put another refrigerator down here. We'll go through so much stuff. I mean, um, and I like it that way. I don't, I'm not, so yeah, we need a bigger kitchen, but appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Dane Self, awesome mailbox telephone fire fire cool glasses i believe he's saying that is one awesome mail call it is on fire super cool i think that's how we say that then we got uh oh scooter dumas scooter dumas geez you are off the map i, I don't know maybe he's talking about because i'm not maybe because i'm in the kitchen i'm not here I don't know. When it comes to Scooter Dumas, you don't really know. So just pretend like it's all good. Yeah, right on, brother. Off the map. Right? You right. You right. It's just safer that way because we really don't know. Anyway, and, oh, hey, Scooter Dumas again. Oh, my God. Fracking sweet do only you cooter out. This is one of those times. Right on, brother. Cool, dig it, dig it. Keep on keeping on. I'm digging it, Scooter. Got the Curbster again, old Curbs Garage. Keep reading. It's my only five minutes of fame. <laughs> right on, Curbster. And Fern C commented on his comment with the with the you know the laughing sign. Two laughing faces. Right on, brother. Oh, no, you got fame, man. People know who you are, Curbs. Got to know who the Curbster is. Dude's got all kinds of cars. Yeah, I messed up one all the way back. I got to come back down here again. All right, now we're down to Lance Graham. My grandpa, who recently died earlier this year of COVID, had over 100 rifles, an AK-47, and other guns in his house. Well... First off, that sucks. Sorry to hear he died over COVID, especially. And uh, yeah, when you got a lot of rifles like that, and all, it's they're left behind. That's for sure. Um, then he left another comment on top of his comment. James, do you ever see anyone in the toy car aisle with their phones checking car prices? I have seen that a few times at my Walmart. Yes, I actually have, dude. It's really, I've seen it at Walmart and Target. You can't help but look at those guys like, dude, really? Really, man? And, but yeah, I've seen them. 
and that's what they're doing. I've seen them do it over by the Funko Pops too. Those little things with the big head. I've seen them doing it there because I, I was over there looking for one for my granddaughter one year. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. I also see them on the clearance aisles going through things like that. Oh, you know, is what it is. But yeah, sorry about your grandpa, brother. And yeah, man, that COVID thing, I'm telling you what, man, that just gets me going more. I can't believe, can you believe what the nerve of these people? That's what I would, that's, I got COVID real bad. You guys know that. I ended up with double, double pneumonia. I had it two different times and I wouldn't, I would not go to the hospital. I called them to see if there's anything they can do and there really wasn't, but they admit you. I'm not go. uh-uh. They'll let you die in there and you can't even see your family. Who the heck are you to stop my family from seeing me? Or, or, and it was the same thing with like your, maybe it was your kid in there. You can't see them and they leave them in there till they die. Next thing you hear, sorry, she didn't make it. Yeah, that's not happening. You're not keeping me out of there. Nuh uh, no way. But, but the nerve of these people that, you know, how many people died that way and they never seen their family again. And to me, I, I mean, I had double pneumonia. Finally, they finally found that. But I would get up, man, and I would get in that shower and all, and just try to hold myself against the wall and get steam going and try to hack this stuff out of my lungs, man. And it hurt <laughs> doing that <laughs> till I could get it to come out. And man, it just rips its way out. I was so raw. But I honestly believe that's the only thing that kept me from dying from the sh from the stuff because that stuff staying in there just fills your lung you just stay full well if you go to the hospital they put you on a respirator and they lay you in that bed there ain't no hacking that crap out and now we just got to hope that your body gets rid of it well uh -uh, i ain't getting rid of it as fast as i can hack it out yes it hurts your throat but i assure you every time i did that sometimes i have to do it two or three times a night um and I could, I would feel much better as the time went by. But anyway, there's so many reasons why going to the hospital just was not a good idea. I, and, but I can't believe the nerve they had to do that to people, to literally not let you see your family again. It was just unbelievable. But anyway, sorry about that. It's hard to hear that, brother. Patriot Son. That's Mr. Kelly. Mr. Hamilton. Kelly, yes, Mr. Hamilton. Hi, James. Your face is looking thinner. <laughs> you must be working out more. Nice to see you. <laughs> thanks, buddy. I, I mean, thanks, I guess. Well, yeah, um, I, like I said, I cut out all that uh, carbs, man. Not all of them, but I, all the excess that you think's good for you, but it really ain't. And uh, I guess that's just what I get for that. Hey, Scooter Dumas. Ain't heard from him in a while. Let's see what he got to say. It's all YouTube, not you, my friend. We're paying attention. They are not. I'm going to give him a heart and a thumbs up. I'm going to give him one of these. I know, brother. I know exactly what you're saying. Kind of. I'm sure I'm missing something there. Anyway, right on, brother. Appreciate you, Scooter Dumas. And then the very last one, Mr. Be Meat Butcher. Mr. Meat Butcher, where in the house will your next video be shot? I don't know. Will you also slap around young Sheldon? <laughs> Meat Butcher. <laughs> oh, I get it. No, no. Yeah. I said that about the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, man. Um, uh, Sheldon, ooh, you couldn't. If I had to deal with that guy every day, I'd have to strangle him. Definitely have to. But, um. Yeah, you know, young Sheldon, I, I didn't really, I seen it a couple times, but it wasn't that good to me, so I didn't watch it anymore. But he wasn't as annoying. I guess I didn't watch it long enough, but he's not as annoying. Plus, he's just a little kid. But, uh, yeah, on, on the Big Bang, that guy, I could not deal with that guy. No way, man. But, uh, anyway, that's all the comments, guys. And, uh, holy cow, I Somebody must have had a hard time hooking up to my internet because they told me every time they tried. <laughs> so anyway, there we go, guys. Um, and I almost cooked up on an hour again. 
So, uh, once again, there's old meat butcher. Look at that young buck. Looking out on the horizon. Look at that. Dude's living over there in paradise. I have to put that with your paw. Put that over there with your dad. Oh, paw. Paw, paw meat butcher. Paw butcher. Put that over there and, uh, I know I got it. I, it was, I didn't want to mess it up, get it wrinkled, so I put it in my folder. I usually keep all them notes and everything that people send me. I don't know why. I just keep them and I pile them up in there and, uh, you know, go for that. Same thing. That's where this will end up. I got it laying to the side, but I haven't put it up there yet, but I'll keep it folded up and I'll stick it in there as well. And, uh, but anyway, um, there you go, guys. Again, Mr. Prue, sorry, buddy. I can't believe that, but, um, I mean, it happens. It happens. And, uh, congratulations to the other winners. And, uh, uh, good luck to everybody on these Cato House. And like I said, I threw up, I just threw both of these up there. So there'll be a first place and a third place for this truck. But there's only one of the Skylines. I, I, I guess I should have, I don't know why I only got two of those. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I only got two of them, but I did. I only got two of them. Um, anyway, so there we go, guys. Thanks again, Meat Butcher, for the castings they'll definitely be used not sure when but they will be used that's why i needed them and uh get these cars sent out um let me know mr Pruce, if, if you want one of them other things or if you want me to go ahead and send that um and i believe i should have your shirt your other shirt tomorrow i think my daughter said they're ready and she's picking them up tomorrow so i'll have uh I think there's three of you I got shirts for. I should have them tomorrow. And uh, we'll get them sent. And go from there. Um, so like I said, anybody got any idea what, what caused them tires to eat into that plastic like that? Let me know. Because I've never seen that. Um, it's really crazy. I... Uh, it must be some kind of petroleum in the rubber or something. And it just doesn't react well to the plastic or something. But I don't know why the real riders we put on our Hot Wheels and stuff, it doesn't do it. Only them Johnny Lightning cars did it. I don't I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, if you guys got any idea, let me know. And uh I will talk to you guys later. Um, again, congratulations to the winners. You got her, Mr. Jersey Devil. Mr. Keebler. The only one of these. There ain't going to be no more. Uh, well, you can't really read it. WW Replicas. That's Jeff. That's who made these. For, uh, no, I'm sorry. That says Winged Warrior Replicas. It says it's not WW. It's the whole word. Winged Warrior Replicas. But uh, um, he's the one that uh, made these. He says he's got another set of decals if somebody wants them. I'm, I'm doubt I'm going to use them. Um, I'm going to stick to these. i got to make a few of these. And it turns out I've only got four Michael Myers, guys. I only have four more Michael Myers. This is what he is. I've only got four of these. So I can only make four more of these. Um, Jake, strictly die cast. Um, Mr. Pruce. Remember I told you guys I'd forget? I did forget. Somebody else asked for one. Who was it? I screenshot it because I don't think it was Mr. Devers. Who was it? Dang it. I screenshot it because I knew I would forget. Mr. Ellingson. Mr. Ellingson, I would be interested in one of them. Yep, Mr. Ellingson. So that only leaves one. Um, I could uh, put it in a sticker drawing or... 
Maybe somebody else will say they want it. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, that's it. That's all I got. I have plenty of pumpkins, but I don't have any more Michael Myers. I don't know. I, I may be able to get some more. I don't know. Um, at the time when I got those, I got what she had left, and that was it. I, so it was only four, so I don't know. Anyway, y'all take it easy again. Thanks, guys, for sending me everything. Thanks for all your support. Hope you guys had a good weekend, and um, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Outro.